People have been asking me how to publish your project in Animate, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this pretty quickly. So we're going to come over here to File New, and let me just create a very simple project and import two images. Let me scale down this character. Now this is pretty random, but I just wanted to show you something that has some assets in it because you can actually see how they're exported. So I'm going to come over here and let's do a simple transition. I'm just going to fade this logo in. Very simple like that. I'm going to put a trigger in there too. And just press stop. So then we're going to go to a save as and we're going to save our project in my tutorial folder here. And let's call it tutorial. And that's saved. Then we go to File, Publish Settings. And this is where things get a little bit interesting because people might come over to your website and they're going to be using an outdated browser. I'm not saying everyone because a lot of people do like an up-to-date browser, say like Google Chrome. But there are people that want to use Internet Explorer. And I can't even explain why you still want to use Internet Explorer because most of the time when developers or designers are talking about Internet Explorer, they're probably talking about a problem with it. But if you do have users that are using it, which could very likely be the case, you want to select that. You might want to show an iframe prompt or an overlay prompt. People know that if they are using that browser and they can't view the animation properly or your website properly, they should update their browser. That's a good recommendation from me and also it's a good feature in Adobe Edge Animate. And that's where this poster image comes into play. You can give the option of actually showing an image rather than people just seeing a messed up website. And you do want to give people some kind of notification if things are messed up. So you can do that right over here. If you want to create one, basically what it'll be is a preview of what the website should look like. It's just going to be a static image, but it gives people some kind of uh, view of what the website is rather than being blank or if you don't want to put just a message saying, hey, update the browser. As far as publishing goes, I'm going to select my folder here and my tutorial folder, we have a folder called website that I created. So I'm going to select that folder and that is going to be my publishing folder. Now I'm going to select publish and Edge publishes my project. Inside my website folder, and I'll come back over here, we have all these other elements outside of the actual website folder, but once I come over here inside the website folder, this is where all the assets were published to. First thing you wanna notice is the actual HTML file. People who are publishing in Adobe Edge Animate that are confused by this, start from your basics. The HTML file is going to hold your Edge Animate composition. So let's go open, and I'm going to open it with Dreamweaver. That's my editor of choice. If you have another one, fantastic. So on the right-hand side, I have a div, and this holds the animation right there. You can see it. And then on the left-hand side, this is my code, and you can see the div right over here. So basically all you need to be concerned with when you open this in, say, like Dreamweaver, another editor, is take care of your title information, you want to throw a uh, made description, you know, these are good things to do, best practices that you want to follow. Strongly recommend doing that. Maybe sometime in the future, Edge will have this feature, I don't know, but for now, you're going to do it in another editor and you'll edit it yourself. Now we'll come over here to the JavaScript files and also your Edge includes. This is what's making everything run. You need to publish them to your website. And then also here you have your images. These are all the images you imported into your project. You have your two images that I imported into my project, and this is where they go inside the images folder. You need to load all of these assets to your project. Now, if I'm in Dreamweaver, I'm gonna come over here. On the right-hand side, we have the view of our files for our website. We throw them in over here, and we put them to the website. Since I call this tutorial HTML, if it was going to go to my website designsbyjonathan.com, it would be designsbyjonathan.com forward slash tutorial.html. That's if you didn't put this in the subfolder. So that's how your projects get posted and published, and this is how Edge Animate publishes content that you're creating in the software. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, let me know. Basically, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.